Hey writer friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I'm a writer aspiring to be a published author. And in today's video, I will be sharing with you my story binder. So just a little context here, when I was outlining the Celestial Code, I had a story Bible, like a series Bible, and just kept everything in a huge, long Word document and kept it on my computer. But after I attended the Wonder Writers Retreat and some of the girls had done a story binder, so they had an actual physical copy of their their kind of story Bible. And I really liked that because I felt like it was gonna be an easier way for me to quickly flip to the page I want and to kind of organize things in a little bit better way. There are some things like that are in my story binder that I couldn't put in my series Bible, so I will go through that with you guys. So if you don't know what a story binder is, a story binder or a series Bible is just a collection of all of the information that you need for your novel. So this is a way for you to keep track of your characters, what's going on with the plot, and keep everything organized in one place. So first things first, if you want a story binder, you gotta pick a fun binder. So this was actually from TJ Maxx, I think, but it's like super sparkly, really, really fun. So I'm like, I want this one. Um, and I forget if this is like a one and a half inch, I think. Um, now I know for sure that like this has things for the Celestial Code, but also some things that didn't go into the Celestial Code that will be in other books in the series. So I know I'm gonna need more than one binder, but this one is just the beginning. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you all of the inside because hashtag spoilers, but I will do my best. Um, so first things first, I have a kind of title page. Oh, I hit my computer. Um, so I kind of have a title page here, the Celestial Code. Um, I kind of had a little aesthetic um, that I made off of, I think it was pick frame. And then I've said YA urban fantasy, light sci-fi, book one in the Celestial Code series. So you can kind of give yourself a cool little title page and make some fun with that. And then I have everything divided here by tabs. And this can vary, uh, again, for everyone. It's just what you want. So first tab has my query materials. So this was when I first thought I was gonna participate in PitMad. So I have a couple pitches um, that I didn't end up using because I decided not to participate. But this is where you're gonna wanna put any pitches. Um, I have my query letter. This is just the basic template. I actually didn't update this, so I need to do that. Uh, thank you, uh, video, for reminding me. <laughs> And then I also could put my agent list in here. Right now it's just in a Word document and I've been emailing it to myself to make sure like I don't accidentally delete it or lose it or anything, but that would be something else that I can put in here. This is also good if you're you know, trying to build your agent list and you can just kind of keep adding names of agents as you see them that you find that you think would be a good fit for your manuscript. And it also would be good if you wanna have information for your self-publishing route, so your timeline and you know all of your, your cover design ideas and things like that. Okay, so next tab is to outline. So I have my 27 beat sheet here, um, outlining everything and obviously can't show you that, sorry. Um, and then definitely can't show you. So I have like about like, two thirds to a third of a page um, summary of everything that's gonna happen in the future books in the series. So this was something that I was dreading doing before I started working on the Celestial Code, but I knew that I needed to do it in order to get a clear idea of what I wanted to happen in the book. And that was trying to figure out how many books I was gonna have in this series and what was gonna happen in each book. So that was pretty daunting, but it was actually kind of fun once I started going because then I was like, okay, now this happens, this happens before. I just had like a billion and one title ideas, so I didn't even know like how many books there were gonna be. So this number still ch could change. I always say like there are six, but I feel like it might be five. Um, I could maybe more, who knows? Uh, Cause you know, our brains hate us and always come up with new ideas. So who knows? And then next up we have character profiles. So that has my character name. It's like a profile with their age, name, um, any nicknames, a description of them. And then I have some pictures of um, her character and different art. I'm, I'm talking about Lucci here. Um, and then I kind of have some 
uh, little aesthetic boards here for her that I made um, and then some other characters too. So this is a way to kind of just like really have fun with this because uh, sometimes you got to slog through writing, but if you kind of make it fun, then it will be. And then I have a really uh, general kind of character profile here. And that is for all of the main characters. So then, yeah, Jeremy has one too, or Rem. I can show you that one. Yeah, and my printer at the time was like really, really bad. So they all came out like really gross. So I really want to redo this one because I'm like, oh my God. So I have all like nitty gritty character stuff for um, my main characters. And then I have some really small little paragraphs for the secondary characters. Next up, I have my research tab. So this is pretty much everything that I was researching when I was outlining TCC and I didn't really know anything. So I just researched a ton of stuff. Um, because this is a light sci-fi. So I have a lot of things about space and the planets that I had to research, which was actually really fun. And I was kind of nerding out. So I'm like, oh, I guess this is good that my book has all this because I'm actually getting kind of excited. Yeah. And then I also even have like links to some um, Wikipedia pages of some sites where I was doing more research about topics. Got a lot of research. Wow. Lots of research. So the research tab is one of the things that I didn't have everything in my series Bible on my computer. I was able to, you know, just pull from the websites and, you know, put it all in the story binder. All right. And then next up we have world building. So that's another thing that I was not able to put into my series Bible was the map that I had drawn because obviously I had drawn it on paper. Now I could, you know, have scanned it into the computer and then, you know, put it into my series Bible, but I'm not fancy like that. So I drew out my map, which is very, very crude. Um, and then along with the world building, I also have everything for the world. So the geography and climate, the cities, landmarks, people and customs, um, culture, as far as like professions, transportation, the government system, all of that fun stuff. Um, and then I have pictures of what the fantastical world is like, as well as creatures. Um, so tons of fun. This is another fun tab. So this is my extras tab. So that has my vocabulary list and I didn't have this right away. And I highly recommend it if you guys are fantasy and sci-fi writers, um, because you want to keep everything, you know, straight, not only for yourself, but for the readers too. So I had sent out this vocabulary list to my beta readers so that if they were kind of confused, then they could refer back to this if they needed to refresh their memory on a term or something. And what I don't have the vo with the vocabulary list, which I probably should add, is a pronunciation guide. So that's another thing that you can add to your story binder as well if words are kind of confusing um, and they're not pronounced the way that they look. I also have a Celestial Code playlist with only nine songs. I probably could have added more, but I know I had ideas for other scenes in the series because, you know, that's what happens. Um, so that's why I also have a list of song inspiration. I just have a ton and I go by character. Um, so, oh wait, I can't show you this. <laughs> this is hard. I'm sorry, you guys, that I can't like show you actually what's in here. Um, Obviously when TCC is published, then I can have like all the spoilery content videos that I want. And yeah, so hopefully that will come soon. Um, but yeah, so if you don't have, you know, those specific songs for your playlist, but you still have songs that you like that kind of give you the vibe of that character or kind of helped you think of things when you were, you know, trying to develop that character, I highly recommend adding those songs because even when you're trying to, draft your novel and you kind of feel like you need some inspiration or you feel kind of lost with the character, you know, referring to these songs and listening to them can spark some ideas for you. Next is the brainstorming. And I just kind of put these in random order, but for brainstorming it was pretty much my like word vomit outline that I put in my series Bible. So just everything that I was thinking that would happen in TCC, some of which did happen and some of which will happen later, but just all of the ideas that I came up with as far as the plot. But that helps me because it's something I can quickly refer to when I'm drafting or I'm editing like, oh, I forgot that I was going to put that scene in there or I forgot I, about that line of dialogue that I wanted to add. 
Speaking of lines of dialogue, that is also something I have in here because that's something that I come up with a lot when I am brainstorming a novel or I get a shiny new idea. I oftentimes like try, I develop the characters and the plot and the setting and all of that, but then I also am weird and just come up with dialogue and that kind of helps me build the plot because you know, the two characters just start talking and the scene just appears in my head. And so I just start writing down this dialogue. And so that's actually really helpful for me when I'm outlining to develop scenes by these random lines that I'm coming up with. So, or even if I hear something really interesting when I'm out at the store or when I'm talking to my patients and they say something really funny, I write it down. Like there are so many lines that I can pull from TCC that I'm like, yeah, a patient said that, which is just crazy and awesome. So yay. And then the last tab I have here is the magic system. So if you are writing fantasy or sci-fi, then you will have some sort of magic system or some sort of rules to your world. So I have all of that for the magic to keep that straight, um, all of the rules, because I would totally be messing up everything if I did not have this. And then lastly, I know I got this from the Patchwork Nerd, was to add a loose leaf folder to your binder, which I really like to hold all of the loose paper that you have. So with mine, it's pretty bare right now. So the things that I have in here are my um, affirmations list that I would read through before I started writing or editing. And that was from Rebecca K. Sampson. Um, and then the other thing I have, which Oh look, there's, um, I almost said Captain Marvel. Oh my gosh, Doctor Strange, because Captain Marvel's out. Uh, Doctor Strange, but that has some loose post-it notes of some notes that I took. I could have like transcribed this, but it was gonna be too much work because I was just like brainstorming and I'm like, oh, I just need a couple post-it notes. And then I'm like, oh wait, I need more, I need more, I need more. So because this is all loose and I don't wanna lose it, then I put it in the sandwich baggie and then I put that in the folder. So you guys, that is TCC Story Binder. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I couldn't really show very much of the actual binder, but I hope everything I said that I included will help you in creating your own. I would love to know in the comments down below if you have a story binder, either the physical copy or if you have a story or series Bible on the computer. Please give this video a big thumbs up and hit subscribe to support my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.